friends, and welcome to another Quickie with Nikki. Oh, yeah. So if you are new to Quickies with Nikki's, hello, my name is Nikki. In these videos, we do quick, I say quick because I talk a lot, beauty news, product reviews. I do that wonderful intro at the beginning of all of the videos. We've got some juicy stuff to talk about today. But first, I hope that you will consider subscribing. I'm pulling up my notes because I know the video's serious when I have notes. I hope that you will consider subscribing. I'm currently uploading every day in the month of August. I have a huge giveaway going on. If you want to check that out, I will leave a link to it down below. Let's talk about Ulta. So you guys know, basically when I do these videos for research, I just look up beauty news, like what's happening in the beauty world. And because you guys are my beauty friends, I just like to talk to you about it. So I feel like this is a hot topic, so let's be nice, but I do want to hear your thoughts on anything I say down below. Let me know your opinion. I feel like you guys are really good about stating your opinion without fighting with each other. So Alta is speaking out amid accusations that its retail employees were committed to basically doing racial profiling. So I was reading this whole article about it. I'll leave a link to it down below. Apparently there's two beauty like watchdog accounts. They're called, let me know if you guys have heard of these, Here for the T2 and Estee Laundry. And apparently something like 15 employees reached out to these accounts to tell them about their experience about Ulta telling them to racially profile certain customers. And essentially what these employees said, and this is coming from employees around the country in the US. This isn't just from one location. This is from Illinois, someone in Illinois, someone in Mississippi, someone in California. So clearly we've probably got, I'm not saying it's true, but if it is true, then it's, it's a nationwide issue. So what the employees have said is that essentially Alta did put them through um, like cultural training and when they started like diversity training. But then what they've noticed is as they work there longer, their management would like get on the, you know how they have the walkie talkies? I don't know what they're called. Or they, some of them have like the headphones and they would say a black woman's entered the store. Make sure you watch her. And Malta, this is just so shocking to me because I love Alta. And I'm like, dear God, what, why, what? So then other employees have said that they were told that if an African-American person comes in and they have sunglasses on, or if they have a really large purse, you need to follow them. And there's more, there's more friends. And if they come in as a group, then you're to stare them down. And this is not just from one employee. This is from multiple employees that if they come in as a group, any person of color, but really they really focused on black women or black customers, period. Come in as a group. You need to stare them down, watch them, follow them through the store. And what's interesting is that there is an Ulta store in Tinley Park, Illinois, that put security sensors on the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour cream kits in dark shades, but no sensors on the light shades. So that doesn't really help Alta's case to say that they're not racially profiling, because essentially that just tells you, I mean, common sense, they're assuming this is more likely to be stolen. It's a darker shade by a darker person. The light shades, they're not gonna steal. So then once all this came to light, apparently Alta customers started talking about their expense experience of racial profiling at Alta Beauty. Um, one person said one time the alarm went off while their, they and their friends were leaving the store. They quickly came to my black friend and told her literally only to empty out her belongings. They didn't ask me or the white girls who were also exiting with us. They continued to push her into telling them that she had stolen even threatened to call the cops. Turns out when they looked at the cameras, the white girls who they didn't check stole 1,000 in Anastasia products. Hopefully I explained that. So basically it's a group of girls. There's friends together, white girls, black girls. They only targeted the black girl and they were threatening her saying, we know you stole, open your purse. Turns out when they look at the cameras, it was actually a couple of white, white customers that had stolen. I did not know any of this, friends. And not in Alta's defense, but just sharing my own truth. I have an Alta pretty close to my house. Before that, I honestly didn't go there very often, but I've grown to love them now that they're closer. And I like that they have drugstore and a high end. I've never experienced that, but maybe that's just the area I'm in. Um, I'm in Los Angeles 
and I feel like it's a pretty culturally diverse place, although some of these places are too. I don't know, I've just never experienced that. They have always been lovely to me, way nicer to me in Ulta than they have in Sephora. I feel like in Sephora, they just ignore me, at least the one close to where I am. So I've never experienced that, so that's when I saw this. I was like, I have to do a video on this. This is shocking. I wonder if my friends have heard of it. So let me know in the comments down below. One, I wanna know if you've heard about this, because I did not hear about this until I just started researching this, and my mind was just like, I can't believe, if this was like a one-off thing, right? Like let's say it was happening at one store in Illinois or it was happening at like another store here in Mississippi, I'd be like, okay, those employees are just idiots. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't say idiots. Those employees are just whatever. But it's happening nationwide, so it must be coming from the top down and that just makes me really sad. Two, if you've ever experienced anything like this at Ulta or Sephora, let us know your experience in the comments down below because wow. So now basically Alta's saying, you know, we stand for diversity, we stand for equality. I'm rolling my eyes because I, like I said, I just feel like when you hear that happening nationwide, it has to be coming from the top down, right? This isn't just coming from the floor sales associate. It's coming from the manager who was maybe told by the district manager who was maybe told by somebody in corporate, you know? And what's interesting enough is I just did a quickie with Nikki. This hair is getting on my nerves. I just did a quickie with Nikki where we actually just featured a video. I'll leave a link to it down below. What quickie news with Nikki was that? I think we were talking about the new Jeffree Star stuff coming out. And I talked about an Alta that was literally robbed and they have it on camera. Another customer is filming these girls and they're African American coming in, throwing things in the bag, and running out. I share that because I'm wondering if they're doing this profiling because they, maybe they've done some research and found that most of the theft that occurs is from African American people or people of color, but you still can't profile like that because we all don't freaking run into Ulta, fill up our bags, and run out. Like, you can't, every time an African American woman comes in, it, I, it sucks, right? It sucks if you're losing inventory to thieves and people stealing, and let's say they discovered somehow from research looking at cameras that most of these thieves are people of color, you still can't treat everyone of color bad because of some people that are stealing, you know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to chat, this is a chatty video. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you've seen that quickie with Nikki, cause there's, I, I show in the video, I show the video footage. It looks like younger African American girls. There's like three or four of them run in. They fill up, you know, those little gray tote bags full of makeup and then they run out. And then it, that brought me back to this where I'm thinking, I wonder if that's why they're telling their employees to do that. But you still can't do that. You can't treat us all like that. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody's a thief. I give Ulta thousands of dollars of money every year. I don't wanna be like followed. I don't want people asking to check my bag. And what's funny is when I read the article of the employee saying, oh, we were told specifically, like if you have on sunglasses and a big bag to follow them, I always go into Ulta or Sephora with like huge sunglasses because sometimes I don't have makeup on. The lights in those stores are so bright. Anybody else, I must look like a total like either thief or diva. I have on like these huge sunglasses and all of my purses are huge. I just, because I have a lot of stuff I carry, you know, I have like makeup and water bottles and all that stuff. So they might be thinking like, oh, this girl, Usually the Ulta I go to, they're like, oh, I love your glasses, you look like such a diva, but maybe some of them are thinking that girl's coming, gonna come in here and steal a bunch of stuff. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you've heard of this, I've never heard of it. Check out the quickie with Nikki where we actually talk about those girls running out and stealing thousands of dollars worth of makeup.